With all of the many protests and calls for police reform, we wanted to take a close look at the policies in place at Detroit Police Department. Grant Herms shows us what is allowed at DPD. At the heart of the protests are calls to end police brutality to change policing. And over the course of the last several years, DPD has made improvements, but activists say there are still issues within the department. As protests continue into their third week, questions have been raised about how Detroit police use force and whether it should be changed. Inside DPD's guidance, less lethal force like tear gas or rubber bullets can be used to protect an officer or others, stop resistance during an arrest, or stop potentially criminal behavior. It's legal to use deadly force if an officer deems a suspect to be an imminent threat to themselves or others, or to prevent a suspect from fleeing from a violent felony. Chokeholds of any kind are prohibited. But most of it is up to an officer's discretion, including when they announce their police and when they feel comfortable firing from a moving vehicle. Any use of force is supposed to be reported to and investigated by a superior. According to the most recent data from the city of Detroit, more than 3,400 complaints were made against officers. Nearly two-thirds were closed in-house. It's those complaints and videos from the protests that have activists calling for change. There is racism in the park. Kenneth Reed is with the Detroit Coalition Against Police Brutality and says what he's seen from police in the last few weeks has been troubling. A lot of these people were mainly um, peaceful and to be attacked with tear gas and being pummeled like they were, hit with the rubber bullets and, and all that sort of thing. I think it was over the top. He also said the protests can do some good as long as there's follow through and real action. I think if you take a more, a more of a public safety approach to policing, and, and more training in terms of de-escalation tactics and things of that nature, you know, I think we'd be in a better place. Grant Herms, Local 4. Uh, it is important to note that over this past week, Local 4 has asked Detroit police for an interview on their use of force policies, but as of tonight, they have not agreed to that.